Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the Oculus Telmar. Telmar is a brand new headset from Oculus. I will tell you everything you need to know about it, whatever you should be excited about it, or whatever it's going to be the biggest disappointment since the Gear VR. Today we're going to see whatever everything we need to know, everything we know and you need to know about the Delmar in this upcoming video. Okay, so basically what is the Oculus Delmar? Here I'm going to do a brief uh, recap of everything we know about these headsets. What we know for sure that it's uh, something that has appeared on the Oculus website. They are apparently developing it for, there are apparently some devs that are already working on content for it. And if they are working on content for it, is it like a video games dev or like uh, uh, just some backend developers, I don't know, maybe like uh, so it, uh, it would be a good indicator if, if they are already making games for it that means it, it probably is a lot more ready than we think it is but if it's just like the, like they're making the uh, the user interface then it might be a little bit further away but uh, that's the, that is no way to know that the report from Bloomberg is very interesting because Bloomberg had a history of uh, having some insider information like with uh, the Oculus Go from what I read they leaked the Oculus Go many months before its actual release so uh, they have some credibility with that and also with like Sony and uh, Xbox they seem to have some good in insider information yeah, that doesn't mean everything they say is going to be 100% accurate, but it's just that you have to take that in, into account. So basically what Bloomberg says is uh, that uh, the headset is going to be lighter, more comfortable, smaller. I think that is an amazing thing. If they can make it like 150 grams smaller, uh, so lighter, if they can make it uh, like the Oculus Half Dome 3, basically, if you've never seen the Oculus Half Dome 3, it's basically the new prototype from Oculus and it looks incredible. It's barely bigger than ski goggles. It's, I think it's actually smaller than most ski goggles. It, if they can make something that small with uh, uh, inside out tracking and uh, in a standalone device, that will be huge, I think. Because what is the main thing that people don't like about Oculus? It's too heavy, it's not comfortable. You never see anyone say the games are not there or whatever. Most people that don't like it, at least people that tried it, is they say it's too heavy and I can't wear it for long, you know. So I think if they can solve that, that would be uh, incredible. And it, it's very weird when you think about it that most, quite a lot of Quest users are, have to uh, make a modification so their Quest can work. So I think it's natural for Oculus to like uh, uh, respond in some way because they didn't want to do it before, might be for cost or they don't have the time. But with like a, a proper uh, new headset, it, uh, it, it has to be more comfortable. Okay, so second point. They said it's going to have higher refresh rate and more realism. What does that mean? I think this is the most important point of everything we learned so far. Because if it has higher refresh rate and more realism, that means it, it needs to have a better processor. Because the, the Oculus right now, actual processor, they can't deliver more FPS with that. They just say, John Carmack said it at OC6. It's impossible unpossi because it, it will be too hard for a lot of games to hit that frame rate and then they will have to lower graphics even more and that will spiral down to bad quality. So basically, if they have uh, a better processor and they can do 90 FPS and they can do better graphics, that means this is prop this is the, this is it, boys. This is Quest 2. We're not talking about a side grade. We're talking about an upgrade. But the, I think the bigger, like, uh, what is very important about Quest 2, uh, more is w will they continue or discontinue the actual Quest? Because I wonder something, like, uh, if you notice, like, with Xbox and PS4, when they release it, they used to cost very, a lot of money. But then, uh, years pass, a couple of years pass, and then they went down to 299 250 even during the holidays at 199 so uh, can they do that with the Quest? They, they said the Quest is a console, so most console lower their price when they eventually uh, go more mainstream and more like uh, get older. But I wonder if it's possible because from what I read, 
the Oculus Quest is ready at uh, they are selling it at lost even at large lost that means they might be losing 100 to 200 dollars per quest it's just a rumor but if that is the case that means we won't see any kind of price reduction so that's basically it so I think uh, personally if I have to bet you have to you have to if I have to put what my money where my mouth is I would say they're gonna discontinue the original quest and just go double down on the quest 2 like uh, this is gonna be it boys like the, the, I think uh, they're gonna have to discontinue the original quest because uh, yeah, they don't look t uh, if they wanted to really keep the original quest they will be doing uh, they will be producing a lot more of them you know they will be doubling down on the industrial production because think about it if they wanted to uh, if they had no intention to change it they couldn't be making them by millions but uh, if you I, if you look at the past month the oculus quest was available less than a couple days during the war month imagine the level of uh, potential sell that are lost we're talking probably in, in a million units so the, i think all the evidence are there uh, you c it's very hard to to think the opposite because when you have to be like you have to have like a scientific mind when you have all the evidence showing you toward a direction it's very likely that it is going in that direction but yet again i'm speculating and we will know, we won't know until oculus connect 7 which is only f uh, four months from now so it's not that long but uh, yeah we will see uh, that's basically it's my opinion let me only think about it i think personally i think it's a good news but uh, some people are gonna get mad but some people always get mad so it doesn't really matter all right thanks for watching guys and i see you later see you bye bye